Hey guys, Willie here. I wanted to give you a quick video. Now, full disclaimer, this is a video where I had three winning lanes. So if you're the type of person that gets upset when YouTubers upload videos where they have winning themes, sorry, you're probably going to be upset. I wanted to upload this video though. I've been tracking all my stats in this spreadsheet here across all my accounts for the last week or so. I usually almost always have KP or kill participation of at least 50 to 60%, which means I'm on the map and I'm ganking, I'm doing whatever. This is a game where we had three winning lanes and I intentionally did not participate on the map and I just farmed like crazy, got rift grubs, split push, got towers, and we just had a 20 minute victory, right? In my opinion, this is a guide on how to play with three winning lanes. You intentionally don't farm you don't, or you don't gank, you just farm like crazy. A lot of the times when you're climbing, you'll find yourself losing free games and you're like, Willie, I had three winning lanes and I still lost the game. What could I have done different? Hopefully this video will be out there for you to reference in the future or for you to come back to to be like, ah, got it. Should have just kept farming. Good to know. Um, so enjoy and let me know if you want more content like this in the future. Dang. Call me so I can make it just if I, yeah. Is that FMJ by any chance? Is it? I don't think so. I don't think so. Tiger, if you're Chad, boo. Nine hours and still going? I applaud you, Willie. Listen, man. Stamina is king in the streaming game. I'll tell you the secret. Four cups of coffee and a big win streak. This game is one of the most fun games on planet Earth if you're winning. If you're losing, it sucks. It's the worst game on planet Earth. If you're winning... The best. That's how you know it's an addicting game. I do like the one thing I do like about the uh, Tiger Spirit Guard animation. I'm not a huge fan of it, honestly. Like, Spirit Guard Udyr is a shadow of what it used to be, but the Q, the first Q animation where you, like, do the double lunge attack, it's pretty good. Ooh, good job, Vladimir. Ooh! Twitch chat, that's a new record. That's a 312 Raptor start. Ooh! Willie's getting better at the game. Look at that. Echo still hasn't done crab. Jace is going for the execute. That's such a good wave spot. This thing still hasn't done a... F oh, Echo just lost the game. Echo lost the game. Do you want to know why he's lost the game? He still hasn't done a full clear, and he just gave me a double crab start. Yes, sir, Twitch chat. He wasted time, delayed his respawn cycle, and gave me a perfect double crab stunt start into an extremely greedy raptor start. And we got away with everything. Love to see it. He gets that. Who cares? Literally 35 gold. I kind of want to go bot here, actually. That looks extremely free to gank. I don't have items. Frankly, neither do they. Great. You know what? 
I'm doing it. I'm going for the psychotic five minute no item dragon. What could possibly go wrong? No smite, no items. What could possibly go wrong here? Nice, he's going topside. Based. Love my the rage smite, I know, right? Oh god. Love to see it. That was a lot of buttons to click in that shop. <laughs> Normally my shops are instants, but that was a lot of buttons to click. Echo still hasn't gone back to base and spent gold either. I'd be surprised if he goes for naked grubs. Let's see, though. Didn't do my wolves. Didn't do my grump. No grubs. Spent gold. Okay. So he went back to base is what he did. Nice. He's mid, so this is pretty much free. After this, we're just going to full clear back down. Actually, I tell you what. I've made this mistake before. You know it's the correct pathing here. It's not full clearing. It's get these. And then what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to go straight over to bot side. So a lot of people make the mistake of farming top side here. Do not do this. Your two choices are either gank top if it's free or cross over into your bot side. We're doing this for two reasons. Number one, we're trying to protect our bot side. Uh, but number two, we want to protect bot from getting ganked as well. The only way Echo comes back in this game is by taking my bot side right now. See how he's ganking bot? We're gonna come through river here. Boom. You know where another jungler would have been? Top side, farming. Boom. Yes, I'm only 1-0, but we are carrying this game very hard right now. We've got three winning lanes, but I don't think it's a coincidence that we're also keeping Echo conveniently out of the game. The one that's honestly doing the best is Jace. He's soaked two Echo ganks and didn't die to either. He died to one, but I mean, it was an execute, so who cares? My next target back is 1300. I'm not going to go for boots first. Hi, Nora. Huh? That's the hybrid. Sorry, is it not good enough for you? Queen. Nora's picky. The, the worst. Alright, let's get timers on these camps. I'm going to go mid here too, actually. Tricky, because if I awaken E the NATO, I've got no way to kill him, you know? Great. I'm going to hold off on the pink cord. I've already got one up here. 
I don't know what Vladimir's doing to that Darius, but dear lord, he's under level to AF. Wow. Ideal first back is dinner and a movie. Uh, what's the ideal first back on AD, Udir? 1,500 gold for Tiamat boots is probably the best way to play it. Ugh. This is like the, the nightmare. Oh, I can't fucking move. Holy cancer. Holy cannot move. The slows are insane, I know. Part of me just wants to get Swifties against this comp. Actually, they've got Ash Arrow, Echo Stun, and that's about it for CC. I think we're going Swifties this game. God, that was an annoying fucking fight. Dead Man's will be really good too. I'm planning on getting Dead Man's third item this game. Ooh, bad lightning Q. Bad timing on that there. Alright, that's six grubs though. This Echo is really concerning, how he plays. He's jumping blind with no vision in between two towers. Like, I get it. It's working out. But as soon as it doesn't work out, we just start losing fights, you know? Like, I'm worried about him giving away big shutdowns like he already did. KP this game, 1 out of 16. Feels good. Like, this is the shit that nobody can peel that. There's not a person on the map that can peel that. I hope I got damage. Nice. What the f <laughs> Ash goes, what the F is this? And I'm like, solo Q. Welcome to it. Alright, we're going to do Leandries. Leandries, a little Swifties, and now we build out a Triforce and prosper. How does Resolve secondary feel? I really like Overgrowth, not gonna lie. I didn't mean to go Conditioning, usually I go Demolish on hybrid builds, but Conditioning is fine on Udyr, you know, helps you scale up. Like, 11 armor and 11 magic resist is actually kind of a big deal, considering I don't have any right now. So, like, if they had a lethality, it would make a big difference, but they've got none. So, I really like Overgrowth, though. Overgrowth feels amazing. Like, 10 out of 10 would recommend to anybody. It's good on Phoenix. It's good on Tiger. It's a farm rune. And I, you know, statistically, I farm a lot more than other Hyelo Udyrs. Like, my play style is a much more farm-reliant how I play. It's easy to copy, which is good for you guys, you know. 
Um, but I think it favors me more because, like, by the end of the game, I've got, like, 250, 300 bonus health from it. And that is a ton of health. It's two ruby crystals right there. 800 gold on top of the fact that it's defensive stats that complement resistances really well, right? This point with outer turrets down, our job is now to start moving up our vision and taking camps away from Echo. Great. What we run in today, still hybrid. Yeah, so we got a hybrid today. Right now we're playing a little hybrid. We've played a lot of Tiger today. We've played a lot of AP. A lot of there, There's been two or three AP tank games. Leandre's Warmogs, I think, is my favorite build right now on Phoenix. So I've been playing a lot of that, enjoying a lot of that. Um, so right now, obviously, hybrid Uder. It's really good for games like this where you just get to farm and get 10 CS a minute. It's really good if uh, you have three winning lanes. I wasn't planning on going hybrid, but frankly, it's really good into Soraka. And teammates started winning very fast, so I was like, alright, hybrid it is. I just match the flash. I'm sitting on a lot of gold. He's got his one item spike. I'm still Leandre's slow ass. Half Q point, half R max Udyr. So bear with me for a second until I get Triforce. Once you get Triforce, the build really takes off. It's a shame I didn't get assist for that. Boom. Boom. Alright. Getting close to being very, very strong. Not quite there. Not quite to raid boss level, but approaching there. The nice thing is, unlike Ezreal, I don't need six kills to get there. I can just farm my way into it. He's got pretty damn good farm too, though, to be fair. Ideally, we crack mid in him and Rift Herald top here. Nice. Boink. Nice. We got it in. That's all that matters there. Dude, grubs are so good. We got six stack grubs this game. I forgot about that. That snowballs the game so hard. I was like, what happened to the enemy? Ba got six stack grubs. Got it. Let me guess. Triforce Ezreal. Yep. 
Yep. Great. <laughs> what a baron. Vladimir just got a triple kill. All oh my god, what just happened, bot lane? Uh, reports of homicide in the bot lane. Please send the best... Op <laughs> get the best detectives on the case. There's a Vladimir with mesh eyes and a death cap in the bot lane committing murder. On the mass scale. Holy shit, man. Holy cow, GG. Keep the gravy train rolling here. 10 CS a minute. It's trying to get to 11. I think it's just over. Oh, Alright. That Ge <laughs> The Geneva Convention violated. Dang. Call me so I can make it just if I